great wine is always expensive? Do you think myth no, or not at all. I mean, when you're getting to these prices that we see today, forty thousand pounds for a case of Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, right. it's like modern art, isn't it? Where do you think great wine begins then? If it, if it doesn't have to be expensive, is there a price point to you that where great wine begins? I think well, I would say about ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Is that great right? Great wine begins at ten dollars. I'm moving to London right away because we have to pay a lot more for that. For would that be right? I'm thinking about seven pounds. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. And then after that, it's Wait, I'm, between I'm seven pounds country, and fifteen. So between 30. ten and twenty dollars, uh -huh, uh -huh. you get. Can you give you me get, an example of that? You get quite. You get. <laughs> well, well uh -huh. how about oh, the? Is this going to be it? Okay. All right. Chevy all we have today, which right, I think well, is twenty-three dollars or twenty-two okay. dollars. But how about you though? So sorry, just to go back to. Where that. do I think? It, where do I think yeah. the great wine begins? I think the the least amount of money that I've personally paid for a great wine has been that I would say yes is great uh, is in the low thirties. Like I think yeah. that you have to pay a certain amount of money to get something that's truly memorable and truly in a class by itself. Um, although the, the the wine in question that I've once brought to a uh, collection a, a wine collector's dinner in, in Chicago um, was a uh, Domaine Huet uh, uh, Le Haut Le um, Vouvray, yeah. which I think is a, is a, is a world class yeah. wine. But it was um, it was probably the cheapest wine by um, a thousand percent. <laughs> but I thought, you know, but it is a great wine. Yeah. I spend, you know, um, little money. But, um, but like music, mm -hmm. wine can match every mood, and sometimes you're not in the mood for a really mm -hmm. sort of prestigious greatness. Or, or greatness. Because What's if the last we, time you were in a mediocre wine, if we if we if we had to define greatness, I would say, would you say intensity of flavour? Sort of the, you know, great wine would have a layers and layers of flavor right. and it will also yeah. inspire the palate intellectually like listening to a really sort of moving uh, piece of music or looking at a an amazing piece of visual art. I think you know there, there's so many intangibles that go into yeah. greatness, you know, with, with wine as with music as with art, you know, and, and so many things. And I, I think one of them has to be the um, uh, singularity and endurance. You know, wine that it, it, it actually wine it doesn't not, not does not just endure but actually improves. That, that his character changes, you know, the course of time, presumably for the better. Um, but but I think and singularity, you know, yeah. there's really not something that something that tastes just like this out there in the world, you know, and sort of like the the original.